God knows how long this creature had been frozen in ice before it was found by amateur explorer and scientist Mark. He knew that this could be the discovery of a lifetime and could not wait to get it freed from its icy prison. But when Mark finally gets through the frozen wall and sees what it is that he is dealing with, he is stunned by the true magnitude of his find. This could change everything. Mark had to let the world know about his incredible discovery. Mark puts his hand on the ice wall. I have come back for you. I told you I would. It almost sounds like he is in love. Behind the ice, he can see a giant, almost human-like figure. But you can barely see anything more than its shape. But that had been enough for him. He had brought people with him from the nearest village to help him get behind the ice wall and help him come face to face with what could be his greatest discovery. The crew starts to carefully chip away at the ice until they finally get close enough to get an idea of what they are dealing with. The workers all take a step back from the shock. Some even start to make their way back to the entrance of the ice cave. Mark just drops to his knees. How was this possible? But what did Mark found? With century-old ice melting at an alarming rate over the past couple of decades, more and more secrets that were once hidden beneath it are becoming accessible. His journey will take him to northern Greenland, land that was previously completely inaccessible. But with the effects of climate change, this has recently changed, and Mark is determined to use this opportunity. Mark sets out on his journey, trying to find something frozen in time beneath the ice layer, which is getting thinner. He is equipped with the bare minimum to survive on this journey, and thus the first couple of weeks are tough to endure. The first few weeks are tough. With only enough to survive and no comforts from home, Mark is determined to find something to make the trip worth it. As the days turn into weeks, Mark gets discouraged. His supplies are running out, and he's questioning his every move. With a final burst of courage and determination, he continues to hike out, searching for anything, a strange shadow, maybe a weird rock, he continues to look, almost desperate. It's then that he spots it. On the wide ice-covered plain, he spots it. It's a rock formation of some kind. It's something at least. He heads toward it, this is it, his last hope. He's tired, he's running out of supplies. This is it before he has to head back to civilization. Once he gets close, he determines that it is a rock formation, but there's something else. There's a breeze coming from small holes between the rocks. That's unusual and it is definitely worth exploring. Could it be a cave? or a tunnel of some kind. Mark does his best to move the rock out of the way. There is most definitely a hole behind the rock, but where does it lead? But most importantly, should he even go in there or wait and come back with others? Mark is a seasoned explorer. He knows the dangers going alone would mean, especially since no one knows exactly where he is. Maybe he could call someone to help him and come back, but then again, would he be able to find this hole again? With curiosity getting the best of him, Mark decides to take a short look into the hole. He won't go too far, and he'll certainly be careful. After all, he's a seasoned explorer. He should be okay. The hole slopes downward, and taking caution, he carries on but he wasn't prepared for what he found. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell for more amazing stories. The hole quickly turns into a tunnel. It's difficult to walk through. He has to be careful with every step he takes. Mark is afraid that rocks could come loose and collapse on top of him, but as he goes deeper down. After all, everything is frozen together. The further down he goes, the wider the tunnel gets Mark doesn't realize just how far down he's gone. 
Curiosity has gotten the best of him. Looking back, the entrance seems so small. A little light in a lot of darkness. As the tunnel gets wider, it suddenly turns into a giant cave. It's only then that Mark spots an ice wall that is different from the rest. Because of the layers of ice around him, they seemed blue and white, but this ice wall is different. There's some form of dark silhouette behind it. It can't be just another rock. Walking closer to the ice wall, he shines a light on it. There is definitely something here. He shines the light over the dark silhouette, trying to make out anything that could give him a clue as to just what this is. But there is no luck. He's going to have to try something else. Luckily, he has just the thing or so he thinks. Going through what little supplies he has, Mark finds his small pickaxe and begins to chip away at the ice. Unfortunately, it's pretty solid. It's a long time before he even thinks about giving up all by himself and no one even knows he's here. It's time to go back and get help. He can't make this discovery alone. It's time to be sensible and call it a day. Before leaving, he pulls out a piece of paper and begins to map out the cave as best he can. It's only once he has this done that he makes his way back to the entrance of the cave. He was definitely leaving, but only for now. It was fairly easy to find his way back to the tunnel. By the time he gets out and back to the surface, it's dark. He needs to set up his camp soon or he'll freeze. While he gets to work with that, he makes his plan for tomorrow. He's got some work to do. With his plan in mind, he gets ready to sleep. He's going to head back to the nearest village. It's a two-day hike. He's going to recruit a group of people to help him get through the ice wall. He could tell his peers, but they'd stick their noses into it. Maybe even try to take credit. The journey back to the village was long and difficult. It was snowing. Mark was in serious danger of hypothermia, but he didn't care. He was more concerned with remembering how he could find his way back to the cave. All throughout the night, Mark dreams of the dark silhouette. What could it be? He barely gets any sleep, but with morning Mark is ready to take off at the first rays of sunlight. He had noted his exact location on a digital map he had downloaded but this was very inaccurate as the map was way too zoomed out. And he had been paranoid about putting something like a flag next to the cave just because somebody else may find it. It was his discovery to make. So he was doing his very best to remember the exact location while journeying back. He had picked out certain landmarks that helped him pinpoint the exact location of the cave again. He was determined to find his way back to the cave in the town, Mark is quickly able to round up some guys that are willing to help him out for money. He doesn't tell them much about what he thinks that he found, and just keeps it at needing some help digging out something from the ice. Luckily, the townspeople are not interested in asking a lot of questions and are just interested in making a quick buck. They made sure they had the necessary equipment for the job. Mark got very excited about the quick response of the locals. They get supplies that T are capable of traversing the terrain. Between this and paying the helpers, Mark sees his bank account drain very fast, but he is willing to spend every penny he has and even goes into debt if necessary, as long as he can make this discovery. The next day they attempt to travel back to find the exact location, but this is a lot more difficult than Mark had hoped. They can easily find back the area in which the cave is located because Mark noted it on the map. But because there has been a snowstorm, raging the area has been covered in snow. The entrance was nowhere to be found. The landmarks that Mark had tried to remember are mostly covered and this makes the search for the cave a whole lot more difficult. After hours of trying, the townspeople are ready to give up and head back. Mark didn't accept them quitting. He started to get annoyed. But luckily, 
It doesn't get that far as one of the helpers, who is poking in the ground with a stick, suddenly feels it shoot to the ground and falls down. Mark's heart skips a beat. This is all that he had been able to think about for the past couple of hours. They make their way down the hole as quickly as they possibly can. They still had to be careful. The whole way down was slippery, and Mark did not want anyone getting hurt. It is exactly the same as Mark remembered. The townspeople are very confused as to what they are witnessing. Mark had not told them anything about that. They were going to have to dig out this. Now the helpers themselves are getting excited. Were they going to be part of something historical here? They started speculating about all the possibilities. It could literally be anything. They did not expect finding this though. They need this in prime condition, if at all possible. The layer of ice is very thick and getting through it as carefully as they are doing, it takes a hell of a long time. One of the workers hits the ice a little too hard. Suddenly rumbles are going through the cave. From the point where the worker hit the ice, large cracks are starting to form that spread quickly through the ice. The helpers all take a couple steps back, and some even start running towards the entrance again, fearing that the whole cave is about to collapse. But Mark is frozen in place. His instincts tell him to get to safety but there is no way he walks away from what could be the defining moment in his life. Seconds later, the ice wall that they have been digging in for the past hour comes crashing down in a million pieces and what has been hidden behind it for probably centuries is finally revealed. Mark can't believe what he is seeing. How could it be this? He drops down on his knees. This is not what he expected at all. Behind the ice wall is not a creature, but just a stone wall. But a stone wall with an enormous and most likely ancient drawing of a human-like creature. Mark was extremely disappointed. It was still a great find, but not what he expected it to be. It was drawn so thick and dark that he was able to see the silhouette through the clear ice. But now that all the ice has broken away, a lot more drawings are revealed on the wall. They remind Mark of old caveman drawings. Huntings, people, fire, all can be made out from the drawings on the wall. He had to get the news out as fast as he could. It was still a great find. It proved that humans had been here, and maybe experts would be able to determine from when these drawings originated. Mark knows that is now time to inform the media and his peers. In the next couple of months, a lot of experts visited the ice cave Mark had discovered, and the site was quickly declared protected so that people could not enter it without permission. Mark was really proud in hindsight. It did cost him a lot of time, money, and effort. But now, he was part of the history books. This story is a work of fiction created for entertainment. Characters and events are the products of the author's imagination. The images shown are used for illustration only. Binding bonds through beautiful tales. Thank you for watching.